you have this chemistry. You, I didn't realize that the the, the co-star, your co-star Dolly Wells. Yes. She is your friend in real life, and you two play friends on the show, and it's it's such a great relationship the two of you have. Thank you. Well, we do really like each other. Yeah. Luckily. Right. And we've known each other for a very long time since we were four. That's so nice. I'm not going to tell you how long ago that was, but yeah, it was yeah. quite a long time it's, ago. But you can tell when you watch the show that these two really know each other. Andy and I are actors played to be good friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We were hired, we trained for a long time. I'm South African. <laughs> <laughs> but he just killed the part, so that's how it worked. So, um, do you, I know that you were using a lot of your own stories from your life, autobiographical stories. Yeah that you then get people to, to, you then work into this show, yes. Doll and M, yes. about your adventures and your adventures with your friend. Have there been any that you haven't gotten to use on the show yet that you want to use? Anything that happened to you in your life that's like, that would be great for this show? Uh, yes, there, things happen all the time that we keep thinking, we, you know, if we're lucky enough to do another one, we've got to put in. But there was one that we tried to shoot in the first season that we ended up not having enough time for. Um, which actually my husband was going to play the part and he's the producer on the show and I think he just didn't want to do it. So he, he said, we didn't have enough time, cut it out. But, but this it was is, this based is, this on... This is the, something that really happened it to was you? Really, it really happened that I, I, was, I was in my 20s and I was driving along in my car and realised that there was um, a homeless person asleep on the back seat <laughs> who I hadn't noticed when I would got into my car. Well, let's back it up just a little bit. <laughs> You, uh, you, you go, were, are you in London at the time? I was in London. I okay. Was, I was, it was quite late at night. It was in Leicester Square, and I went into one of those underground car parks, and I had an old 1960s Saab that I never bothered locking because it was just sort of falling to bits, and no one wanted to steal it. So yeah. I, um, anyway, and I went off to my party or whatever it was, and I came back, opened the door, got in, and there was a terrible smell. <laughs> it's sort of, I guess it was pee and beer or something, and... I was kept thinking, God, what is that smell? And I hope it's not me. And I was driving along. Wait a minute, then... I love that you just keep, you just are like, what's that horrible stench of beer and urine? Well, time to go. <laughs> I just, I, I kept thinking, God, it must be the car park. I don't, and when I got out of the car park, and it was still there, very much there. Yeah. And then I stopped at a red light, and I was thinking, what? And I turned around, and there was a man fast asleep on my back seat. And so he went, came along, was looking for a place to sleep. It's like a bear. <laughs> and he opened your back door and went into the back seat and yes, lay down? Yes, yes. And, and went to sleep? Yes, well, he was fast asleep. And there was, a, there was about five horrible minutes where I was driving around London with this man asleep on my back seat. And I kept looking at him in the rearview mirror thinking, I don't know what to do. How is this going I to know, end? I know what you do. You pull over and you run out of the car. <laughs> I just don't know why you're, why are you driving around? Because at one point he was like, keep driving, it helps me sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of the engine, I do. <laughs> By the way, that's our best British accent we've got That was really here. good. Hello, governor. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? He, eventually he woke up and he just, he sat up and I screamed and he screamed. And I stopped the car and, I mean, I can't really remember, but I, I think I just opened the door and out he got and that yeah. was it. Right. He's right. like, well, he's like, well, this is me. <laughs> uh, zero, nothing yeah. avenue. That's me. That's cruel, I'm sorry. Stop. Uh, <laughs> enjoy the urine smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you I was just so that. relieved it wasn't me that yeah. smelled of pee and beer. <laughs> you, thought, you thought, oh, that whole time at that party, I smelled like <laughs> urine. Yeah, exactly. I reeked of urine. That's the cologne I wear. <laughs> uh, 